uh, cats and new viewers. So today, I'm listing my top 10 favorite video game companions. Now this list is of course of my own opinion, so my favorite companions are going to differ from yours probably. But just know, these are my opinions, respect that, we're cool. So first I have to mention a few honorable mentions because there are way, way too many awesome companions in video games. So first off, Dick Gumshoe from the Phoenix Wright series. He is so funny because he's just so idiotic. I mean, the poor guy. He just wants to be a good cop, but he just bumbles around so much and he says the funniest things and you feel so bad for him, but you also laugh at him. So he's in the honorable mentions. Another honorable mention is the companion cube from Portal. Now, is the companion cube really a companion? I mean, it can't talk or do anything, but it helps you out through one level. I mean, it basically saves you. And then, spoiler alert, you have to kill it. You have to throw it in the incinerator. I mean, it was so cute. I mean, yeah, it couldn't talk, but it was my only buddy during those testing stages during that one level. And then I had to kill it. And, uh, I'm sorry, companion cube. I haven't saved, I saved it though. It's kind of singed, but I saved it. And also in my honorable mentions, I have to mention Rapide from Tales of Vesperia. Tales of Vesperia is my favorite Tales of game, and Rapide is just such an awesome dog. He smokes a freaking pipe, okay? And he's actually a pretty good character in battle, so repeat. Now moving on to my top 10 favorites. These are in no particular order because I don't like to put things in particular order. But first up is Ellie from The Last of Us. Ellie can hold her own. She doesn't get in your way and that's why I love in a video game companion. Don't get in my way, okay? I hate companions that, you know, hinder your experience or if they get injured or die then, you know, you're, you have to start over. Ellie is not one of those characters. She can hold her own. She can't die. If she gets hurt, it's not going to affect your gameplay. But she also knows how to handle a gun. And she is an emotional anchor for Joel, the main character. And she's so badass. And especially playing her DLC, you get to learn more about her and her life before the zombie apocalypse basically happened. She's just such a strong character, and that's why I love her so much. She can stand up to Joel, but she's also kind of a daughter figure to him. So that's why I love Ellie so much. Also continuing on with Naughty Dog properties, Sully from the Uncharted series. Now during the Uncharted series, you have several different companions, including Elena Fisher, Chloe, and some others, but Sully is the one that sticks out because he is a mentor to Nathan Drake. He has amazing one-liners, and I mean, he's been with you since the first game, and he's just really awesome. You want him to be your dad, basically. Like, Sully is the cool dad. Next up, this companion, most people probably wouldn't consider to be a companion, but who cares? It's on my list is Shadow Mirror from Skyrim. Now, if you join the Brotherhood during your playthrough of Skyrim, you would eventually come to get this horse. And what's amazing about Shadow Mirror is it's an immortal horse. Nothing is worse than climbing a mountain with your horse and it slides off the mountain and kills itself and you no longer have your beloved horse. Well, you don't have to worry about that with Shadow Mirror because guess what? Immortal. So you can climb up mountains and jump off of them won't kill Shadow Mirror. And enemies and wild animals come up and attack you. Won't kill Shadow Mirror. Also, if a dragon comes down and tries to kill you with flame or ice and your horse gets in the way, guess what? Can't die because Shadow Mirror's freaking immortal. That's why Shadow Mirror is one of my favorite companions because you can't kill the horse and it's always there for you. So, I love it. I want Shadow Mirror in real life. Another animal companion that I love from video games is dog meat from the Fallout series. Now, of course in the Fallout series you can have several different companions ranging from human to robotic to mutant, but dog meat, there's just something special about dog meat. Having a dog follow you around and it's just such a beautiful dog too. German Shepherds are my favorite dog and dog meat's a German Shepherd. So it kind of gets extra points already. To have such a loyal companion follow you around and such an adorable companion at that who can rip out enemies' throats and can find supplies, it's just so amazing. So, of course, I had to include dog meat. Now, moving on to a bangable companion, Alistair from the Dragon Age series. Alistair is seriously one of the hottest guys in video games ever, 
but he was also very tough to romance and that's what I loved about Alistair. He's a nobleman and you know it took a long time to finally romance him to convince him to sleep with me and to be with me but you know what that's why I love in a man dedication and loyalty and old-fashioned traditions and he's just so loyal he's so loyal and so loving and once once you finally nail him he's there with you for life basically and he won't leave your side and he's so loyal and so gorgeous and Alistair why aren't you real another companion that I love which funnily enough is from another Bioware game is Garrus from the Mass Effect series Mass Effect is my favorite series of all time and Garrus is not like my romantic choice he never is but I always have him on my team because he's such an amazing companion he holds his own he has a great backstory and he's such a good friend to Shepard and I just love Garrus you just want to hug him and be best friends with him in real life go grab some drinks I don't drink alcohol but guess what I would drink an alcoholic drink of Garrus because he's that awesome the next companion I really adore is Elizabeth from Bioshock Infinite like Ellie in The Last of Us, Elizabeth can't be hurt and she doesn't get in your way. She doesn't help out in combat in a typical way, like she can't fire a gun, she can't go and attack an enemy, but she can throw you supplies. And that's what I loved about her. Plus, she is an integral part of the storyline of Bioshock Infinite. No spoilers, but she's an absolute badass, basically. And I just love, love, love Elizabeth to death. I would love to cosplay as her one day, eventually, because she's just so amazing. Next up, of course, is Johnny Gap from the Saints Row series. I adore the Saints Row series, and of course, again, you can select different people to hang out with you, but Johnny Gap's really fabulous because he goes back from the freaking dead, okay? Kind of spoilerish, kind of not, but Johnny Gap is just a straight-up gangster, and he is so awesome to have as a companion because he holds his own, and he's so badass, and you're just like, Johnny Gap, Johnny Gap. No one else sings that song, that's just me. But he's awesome, okay? Trust me. If you play Saints Row, you'll fall in love with Johnny Gat. Just as much as I have, probably. And probably not. I'm just a weirdo, okay? I also really love Marth slash Lucina from Fire Emblem Awakening. Fire Emblem Awakening was the first Fire Emblem game I played. And I always made sure that Marth slash Lucina was on my team because they were such a strong character. And I always made sure that you know they were able to deal damage but that they were never hurt because I didn't want them to die and I just formed a very strong bond with Martha and Lucina I didn't romance them but I formed a strong bond and I love that character and the last companion that I really adore is Squirtle from Pokemon Red I had to include this because that was my first starter Pokemon and that was the first Pokemon game I played as a kid and that was actually the first Nintendo game I played as a kid so it holds very special memories for me. I've always been a water type girl and I always choose water types when I play Pokemon games and Squirtle was just so adorable and it evolved into the super powerful Blastoise and I just love Squirtle so much. So those are my top 10 video game companions. Who are your favorite video game companions? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, please leave me a like. Share the video if you'd like to because that helps me out a ton. And also, if you haven't subscribed yet and you like what you saw and heard, please hit that subscribe button so you can see more of my videos and become best friends with me. And also, if you'd like to follow me on social media, those sites are listed in the description box down below. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching. Peace and kisses. Bye!